Now that we've used Dante Controller to patch audio from our console to our computer, let's open up our recording program and configure it to use Dante Virtual Sound Card as its ASIO source. In this case, we'll be using the Windows 5. Keep in mind, the steps that we show here may be different for the recording program you choose to use. The first thing we'll do is create a new project. After creating that new project, we'll want to add tracks to the project and verify that the project is set to the correct sample rate. Once our project is created, we'll need to do two things. One, make sure that the program is configured so that it's receiving audio from Dante Virtual Sound Card. And two, add the Dante Virtual Sound Card buses as sources for the audio tracks in the program. To configure the program to use Dante Virtual Sound Card, we'll click on the Devices Setup and then go down to Device Setup. On the Device Setup window, we'll choose Dante Virtual Sound Card as our ASIO driver. Make sure to verify that your ASIO driver, Dante Virtual Sound Card, is receiving its word clock signal from an external source. Now that we've configured New Window to use Dante Virtual Sound Card as its audio source, we can add in the VST buses that we need for the project. Keep in mind, the steps that we show here may be different for your recording program. Now that we've added in those buses as sources for our recording program, we can add each one of those input buses to our channels one-to-one. -one. A quick shortcut for this is pressing shift and clicking on the last bus and then holding down shift while assigning those input buses to each one of your channels. Another good shortcut is adding a folder track to your project. Using a folder track in your project will allow you to quickly record ARM and monitor all of the tracks that you will be recording. Now we're ready to record ARM our tracks and monitor our tracks. Once we patch audio from the console to our computer using the direct outputs, we're set to go. Now that we've configured the window to receive audio from Dante Virtual Sound Card, let's go ahead and set our direct outputs on the console. Now that we've set up the window to receive audio from Dante Virtual Sound Card, we're ready to create our direct output patching scheme on our console. We're going to want to patch our input channels one to one to each one of the card slots. Let's start off on channel 1 on the Select a Channel page and find the section that says Direct Out. In this section, touch on the small gray box in the lower left hand corner. This will open up your Direct Output Patch page. On this patch page, we can choose our Direct Output Point. That can be Pre High Pass Filter, Post High Pass Filter, Pre Fader, and post fader. In this case, we want to keep our direct output pre high pass filter. Touch on the small gray box in the direct out section, and this will open up your patch menu. Choose the first card slot and the first output of that card slot. 
close the window and make sure your direct output is turned on. Now channel number one is patched to card slot number one and port number one. We want to continue this patching scheme for the rest of our channels, making sure we continue to patch them one-to-one -to, -one to the first card slot. 